Hi everybody, this is Angel Arts, uh, and I'm here because another uh, Mass Effect Andromeda official 4K tech video dropped several days ago. And um, I apologize that it took me a while to get around to watching it. There's just been a lot going on um, recently, and I'm only just now getting to sit down to watch, and I thought I would record my reaction to it. Hi everyone, I'm Aaron Flynn, General Manager here. I love Aaron. I'm excited to show you a glimpse of how Mass Effect Andromeda is taking the power of Frostbite to new heights on that the Sony PlayStation Neo platform. is beautiful. Wow, look at that. Before we get started, if you're not watching this in a 4K screen, find one and come back. Find one. The game is going to look fantastic on whatever platform you choose to play on. Oh my this gosh. This video is meant to be experienced in 4K. We can jump, just like an Inquisition. Take on new levels of depth, making Mass Effect more immersive than ever. Oh wow. <gasps> Sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. It's... What you're seeing here is a very small slice of the game in development. Oh my Everything gosh. Everything here is in the game, captured directly from a PlayStation Neo. Oh my out. gosh. We selected this segment specifically to showcase some of the ways that Neo will bring our environments and characters to life like never before. Neo. Remember, they don't turn nasty unless you get too close. Ooh, is that one of our companions? Beyond higher resolutions, we will offer high dynamic range lighting on supported platforms. That means every detail will come to life with a sense of depth, richness, and realism that simply hasn't been possible in the past. That is so cool. Oh, wow. Wow. I really was just scratching the surface. Oh gosh, that is so wild. It sort of reminds me of... Oh gosh. Sort of reminds me of that. Feel bad? This whole platform's resonating. So, must be close. One thing in the Fallout 4 DLC, when you're in the in the computer world, like you're in the Tron no world, question. sort of, but better. This is the heart of the vault. Vault. I know Fallout. <laughs> There's another Fallout reference right there. We'll leave you now with a cutscene where you can really see our characters up close. Oh, now this be is sure exciting. Be sure to tune in on November 7th. When we'll premiere our brand N7 new trailer day. and officially open the doors to the next chapter of the Mass Effect universe. <sighs> we get to see a. Oh, nice! We get to see a cutscene of our character, hopefully. Oh wow! Are those those are our companions? <gasps> hey, why does he look like Clive? <laughs> why does he looks just like Clive? There we are. All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Almost the spinning Boy, image. Hey, that's it. Clive is canon. The whole place is lighting up. Oh, okay. Power readings are off the chart. Really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. Yes. Seriously. Oh, now what are those things? Okay, so I recognize the Asari, but I don't recognize. I don't think I recognize the other. Okay. Brad, right on our heels. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, nice. Everything looked gorgeous. Everything looked smooth. It, it really did, um, you know, when you jumped from Dragon Age 2 to Dragon Age Inquisition, this was the same feeling going from Mass Effect 3 to Mass Effect and Drama with the Frostbite engine, um, getting to see you go around exploring things, scanning things. Again, it kind of had a Nam and Jaden from Heavy Rain kind of feel to it. Uh, it was really cool to see, you know, some of the companion characters up close. Uh, really excited to find out about the new Asari. She seems so much different from Liara, and I'm glad that uh, they gave you a character, an Asari character that is so much different from her. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that. And I still can't get over the fact that the main character, if that is if that is meant to be the the default male character i'm 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 wondering has bioware been watching my let's plays and we're like hey look at that look at that that shepherd there that clive shepherd he's a he's a rather handsome fellow maybe we can uh maybe we can use him for andromeda <laughs> that's what i'd like to believe but oh oh gosh that but that was wild no the the just the just looking at um you know Graphically, it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Even though it's supposed to have like this creepy ambiance to it, 
Um, they gave us just enough to see the gameplay, but but not enough to really spoil anything. You know, you're intrigued by what you saw, um, and uh, I I don't know what the main what is the main like storyline going to be besides the obvious you know exploring this new galaxy Andromeda is there like a new big bad like similar to the Reapers is it going to be something completely different and and I don't know and is it is it going to be just one game or is it going to be a trilogy like like Mass Effect 1 and through 3 was I don't know if I've if I've at least uh, seen anything that specified that this was just one of of a series of games, or if it's meant to just be a completely standalone game, like the Dragon Age games tend to be, uh, I'm very curious about that. So, what did you guys think of the of the you know 4K tech video? Put your comments down on the bottom. Would love to hear about them. And um, as we're getting closer and closer to Andromeda, and I cannot, you know, I am I I could not be more excited. So, whew, still a ways to go, but you know, just 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 hang in there. It'll be ready when it's ready, and that's the important thing. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love yourselves and love each other.